1891, Chenonceau is bought by the Terry e. Dorticos family for more than a million francs. This family made its fortune in the sugar plantations on Cuba. The son of one of the owners, Emilio Terry, lived at Chenonceau during certain periods. He became an artist, interior designer and architect. work is certainly influenced by Chateau de Chenonceau. Terry's style was basically a synthesis of Romanticism, Classicism and Surrealism. This mixing of styles is the mainstay of contemporary interiors. He referred to his style as Louis XVII style, named after the son of Louis XVI, who died in prison under mysterious circumstances during the French Revolution. imaginary style was freely inspired by historical examples, notably those of the Italian Renaissance architect Andreo Palladio, and Claude Nicolas Ledoux, the French neoclassical architect. This mansion, Hotel Gibert des Grands, is designed by Terry. Classical elements are clearly recognizable. This house was listed by Sotheby for more than 8 million euros and advertised only outside of France, not because Terry had designed the house, but because it was inhabited in the 40s by Edith Piaf and her lover, the boxer Marcel Zerdon. Architecture is one thing but association with high celebrity and an Oscar-winning film are assets few homes can claim. Emilio Terry was also a landscape artist. For instance, he redesigned the gardens around Chateau d'Aroe in the French style. Numerous objects were designed by Terry for furnishing the interiors of the housing of people, in particular those not without means.
1934, Terry bought the historic Chateau de Rochecotte near Langue. This Louis XVI-style castle is famous for having belonged to Dorothée de Courlande, Duchess of Dino. During 35 years, Emilio Terry restored this chateau and decorated it in the right period style. The chateau resembles an Italian villa with superimposed terraces from which the view extends to the horizon. <music> 